Hello and welcome to yet another beautiful T. Martin Airlines flight. I hope you're all ready to get laid. Like the, the flower thing that you wear around your neck. Because we're going to Hawaii, baby. And that's right. I would figure we'd check out one of the, uh, the most beautiful islands in the world today. Or, or series of islands, group of islands here. We're going to uh, we're going to take off from Oahu at Honolulu International Airport. We're going to do a, a circle of Oahu and kind of check out some of the other islands, and uh, just kind of see what we can see. See those giant jagged green mountains and where they meet the sea. Fly over some volcanoes and stuff like that. It's going to be a good time. So let's create our flight plan here. Obviously, Hawaii is going to be over here in the uh, in the Pacific Ocean, and uh, there's our starting point. So we're going to be starting at Honolulu. I'm thinking we're going to go over to the Big Island here. We're going to land at Hilo International Airport. That is going to be our arrival, but we're not exactly going to follow that strict of a plan. So it looks like it does have us taking off to the west, so that's good. I'm thinking we're going to go out and around here, go over through the North Shore, come back down here by Diamond Head, and then we could fly over Molokai. We could fly over all these islands, you know, decide if we want to take a couple of pit stops and then we'll come down through here. I think we fly all the way around the big islands and we'll end up landing here on the runway. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and release the parking brake, give her some throttle and away we go. Let's get after it. Hopefully it's a, uh, a nice and safe flight. Hopefully we don't have any turbulent weather or anything. Hopefully we can get her up explore around and set her down without any issues. I'm gonna go ahead and go outside the plane, see the takeoff here. Oh, it's already, it's taken off by itself. All right, so we're gonna go flaps up. We're gonna go with the landing gear up. I actually don't wanna get too high. I'm, I'm thinking we're probably gonna, gonna stick a little bit lower. Airspeed above 110 knots, we're fine. I'm, I'm not climbing up to cruising altitude or anything like that. This is gonna be a low buzz over. We're gonna be looking to, uh, you know, just kind of explore, look at the beaches. So I'm going to be completely honest, I don't know all that much about Hawaii. I just wanted to come out here just to see it. I know especially once we get to some of the other islands, the views are going to be absolutely insane. Um, I did go here once when I was like 13 years old or something like that. So it's it's been a while. Definitely don't, don't remember that trip. It's been on the list to go back. And uh, eventually Chelsea and I are definitely going to make it out there. But uh, obviously there's no traveling right now, so... Gonna make it in a digital way. Oh, you can kind of see some waves down there. That's interesting. Oahu is definitely the most popular island. That's where everyone goes when you think about, you know, Honolulu, which is the capital, and then you've got Waikiki, which is one of the, the most, you know, populated, busiest beaches in the world with all the high rises and stuff next to it, which we'll, we'll come around and eventually see. This is, um, this is the island everyone goes to. It's the island most everyone lives on, that sort of thing, most densely populated. Some of the other ones are, are true jungles, which I'm excited to uh, to see as well. Looks like off to our right here, we have another airport, the Kalealoa John Rogers Field. I don't know if that's military or not. Looks like it's just kind of more of a more of a local airport, maybe. If you're doing some inner island travel, maybe you'd go there. I'm not sure. I, I have no idea. I do know as we as we come around this bend, this west side, I don't know very well at all. But I do know like up here, this is this is what's considered the north shore of Hawaii of Oahu. Um, this is where like you know pipeline and all the major breaks are, where you get all kinds of crazy surfing in the winter. Some of the best surfing in the world. So, gonna skim through there, try to see some of the beaches. We'll make our way around here. Diamond Head is somewhere down around here, which is an old inactive volcano. It should be super beautiful. And then you have Honolulu. And, uh, and Waikiki and stuff all in here, which should give us a lot to look at in terms of buildings. I'm gonna come down, we're gonna, we're gonna buzz the shoreline here, dude. Oh wow, you can see marinas over there. We've got giant looking hangar buildings and stuff. Look at these private little coves. What are these things? I truly wish I had a little bit more expertise of where we're flying here. Unfortunately, I don't. Unfortunately, a lot of the, a lot of the places I plan on flying are places I haven't really been, so. I'm gonna have to figure them out as I go. Try to do a little bit of research, try to look it up. Try to be able to give you guys some fun facts, but dude, this is, oh, look at that. Look at that pool right there. I'm pretty sure that was a, like a saltwater pool. It's like cut off from the ocean. You can swim in it and stuff. Australia had, uh, had tons of those, but dude, look, look at this. How insane is this, man? Just skimming the, 
the shorelines of Hawaii. We're gonna really get tricky here. I'm gonna try to split these two mountains. Let's try to try to get as close as we can. Obviously, don't want to end up running into anything. But uh, I've I've got confidence. We can see a lot of cars and stuff down there. Obviously, as we get closer to the road. It's gonna get a little frame ready. I apologize for that. I am ordering a brand new PC. I'm, I'm spending a ton of money on it because I want to have just buttery smooth graphics for you guys. Um, so we're we're gonna work on that. Hopefully, get it in the next few days or week or so. But who knows how long it's gonna take? I know a lot of parts and stuff are currently sold out. Everybody's been buying PCs due to the pandemic and being stuck at home and stuff. But uh, I don't think it's too bad. Doesn't look too bad to me right now. Sometimes it looks a little bit worse on YouTube, but I don't I don't think it's too bad. This is so incredible, dude. Look at that water. Just buzzing by these mountains. Enjoying the coastline. Looks like it's very barren out here, huh? Is the map not, not loading in or is this just I mean we got some buildings and stuff down there. This must just be a uh kind of an un Habitable part of the island, I guess. Dillingham Airfield's coming up in about five nautical miles. All right, so I'm thinking we're, we're just going to cut off this last little part here. We're going to go up and over this hill. Might need to give it a little bit more gas to make sure we get there. Don't want to skirt the tops of these trees. Woo! It's kind of nerve-wracking because, like, here on the plane, you can't really see where your bottom is. You have no idea how close you are. I mean, you can kind of see out that, that window. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. But you can't see up over the dash. It's like a boat. When you get going in a boat and the front lifts up, airplanes the same way. It's kind of terrifying. This thing is so fast, dude. I'm, I'm having to wrangle it back. We're, we're at less than 50% throttle right now. And she just wants to keep on giving. This is definitely a very beginner-friendly plane. The more speed you have, the easier it is to be able to do everything. Just kind of skimming the shoreline here, dude. This is kind of a... I mean, kind of a boring side of the island. Once we get up, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure right here is where I'm thinking of. That should be Waimea Bay. And then that gets into Pipeline. And then once we come around there, this this is where you get a lot of the mountains and stuff. I'm just so blown away, dude. Like, the fact that we are, are in... like. You can't get a better view than this. Like, if you were in a plane in Hawaii right now, this is what you would be looking at. Just about exactly. I mean, it's, it's you know... It's not quite real life, but it's it's just about there. Like this this is so cool that we get to travel the world in this in this regard. Like I'm seeing stuff that I've never seen before. And if I ever go to Hawaii, I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember I remember seeing that on Flight Sim. Now, I think is this is this where I was Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Waimea Bay right here. Sometimes they get absolutely ridiculous waves down there that, uh, I mean, just some of the biggest in the world. There's also a rock that a lot of people will climb and jump off of. It's been like a goal of mine to go and do that for a very long time. So I'm looking forward to doing that at some point. And then this right here, this beach is Pipeline, which is some of the best, most consistent surf in the world. All the professional surfers, or a lot of them, kind of live here, surf here in the winter months and uh, I mean you can't you can't really see them but I'm sure it's it's firing down there so we're gonna go ahead and veer off out of here we're gonna cut back over the island I'm gonna go over to the exact opposite side to the south side of the islands and we're gonna go check out the tourist haven that is Diamond Head and Waikiki it would be so incredible to be zooming through the mountains like this I feel like I'm in GTA or something like that. Or like Jurassic Park, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, Jurassic Park because the setting, but GTA just because we're being super, super reckless right now. I feel like this would be super sketchy in real life. You can get like wind shear off the mountains where the wind runs up the mountain, and then when you go over the mountain, it like throws you up and jostles you around and stuff like that. So I don't think you'd really want to fly like this, but it would it would certainly be cool one thing I forgot to mention to you guys I meant to when we were over on the North Shore let me bring up our VFR map again there's a uh, does this display it doesn't display highways does it no uh, there's there's a highway that runs around the entire island and it's actually called the the Kamehameha Highway when I went that's one of the things I definitely do remember because like you know Kamehameha Dragon Ball Z I thought that was that was so cool 
a lot of, of very interesting names and stuff. Just very, very cool Polynesian heritage. Making our way around the, uh, the east side of the island here, and I believe... We should be rolling up on it pretty soon. It's pretty, uh, pretty obvious when you see it. I believe it's right there in front of us, that little point. It doesn't look very big from here, but it is a, uh, a huge, huge, huge thing that you can hike up and stuff like that. One of the most iconic parts of, of Oahu and, and Hawaii in general. We're going to try to, uh, try to get a bit, a bit lower here, bring our speed down a bit, and see if we can just kind of buzz by it. I think it, uh, I think it's an active. I mean, you can hike it and stuff, so I'd imagine it's an active. I don't think it's it's blown for, for quite a while. Got a nice little golf course down there. We've got Diamond Head, and then there's Waikiki right there along the coast. I love when, like, huge skyscrapers are right along the beach. I mean, I prefer private beaches to, like, go hang out at, but I always think it's so beautiful when you have, like, giant cities meeting the water. I kind of want to go fly around Gold Coast, Australia and uh, and check that out because it's kind of a similar thing. But here we go. Let's let's trim up a little bit and uh, we're going to make our way around time and head. I feel like the game has none of the actual POIs marked here. But uh, yeah, this thing's pretty sick. I think this was like one of the US, uh, you know, bases on the islands. So they, they set up base up there to be able to, to help protect it during wars and stuff. There's all kinds of pillboxes and stuff all over the islands. Pretty sure there's quite a few on this one, and, uh... Dude, that is a massive crater. Ugh. This is so cool. So it's probably gonna get a little bit laggy here, I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh... You know... So, a lot of buildings, a lot of stuff going on. I really wanna fly through New York City. But, unfortunately, I don't think that's possible. Ooh, look, another, like, oceanfront pool. Those are pretty cool. But, yeah, won't, won't have the best detail. Might get a little bit laggy. Oh, we got a cruise ship in port. What? That's cool. It's our first cruise ship that we've seen. I can't, can't believe we didn't see one in our last flight in Nassau. That's all right. So, yeah, these are all giant hotels and condominiums and stuff like that. This beach is always packed. One of the most popular beaches in the world. So I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and buzz out of here. We made it all the way around the island. There's Honolulu International where we took off from. We're going to need a little bit more power in this turn. So let's go ahead and power it out. Let me bring up our map here because I'm not exactly sure where we're going. We're just uh, we're going to start buzzing this way. We've got 42% of our fuel, which is pretty solid. I say we, I mean, let's let's trim up a bit and let's let's go ahead and start climbing. Let's get way up in the clouds, try to get up to a slightly higher speed, and then we'll uh, quickly make our way to our next destination. We've got a couple other islands. I couldn't name them off the top of my head. I'll look them up as we're going over them, and then we've got the big island at the end. Bye-bye, Oahu. Just disappearing into the clouds there. It is just incredible how much power this plane has in comparison to some of the other ones we've done. Got it trimmed up 14%, and it is just climbing. Look at that. Altimeter going 9200 9300. We are getting so much altitude so quickly. I love it We could probably start lowering the fuel mix a bit and maybe even bringing Our prop angle down a bit I'm not really an expert when it comes to this stuff, so I'm just gonna do what I can should we stay at 10,000 feet I feel like leveling off at 10,000 feet isn't a bad thing so we're definitely going to bring our mix down here. You don't want to flood the engine. You don't want too much fuel because there's way less oxygen up here. Probably want to bring the uh, bring the throttle down a bit as well. I'm trying to get it balanced so we can just kind of fly straight here. What a view, man. Can you imagine looking out your window and just seeing the you know, islands of Hawaii disappearing? You're up here above the clouds in your own little, little plane. This is so cool. I see some islands off in the distance here, already coming into view. Let me let me bring up our map. So this, I just looked it up. This one's Molokai, which, I mean, it's a Hawaiian island. I don't really know too much about it. Then there's Lanai down here. I feel like you don't really hear about those too much. This is Maui. Now, Maui is 
probably the second most popular island in Hawaii, and it's, I mean, we, we have quite a few friends who live there. It is supposed to be absolutely beautiful. Oahu, where we just left, is kind of like the tourist central. It, it, it's overcrowded to an extent. Like, it, it's, it's almost kind of, you know, played out a little bit. This Maui is kind of like the, the true beauty of Hawaii. Like, it's a little bit less touched. It's getting more popular, you know, obviously. The, the population is constantly increasing around the world, so with time, everything is going to be overpopulated. But Maui is supposed to be, like, truly, truly beautiful and untouched for the most part. The Big Island even more so. But I've heard great things about Maui. I've heard the terrain is really crazy in Maui, so... Never been there. We're gonna go check it out, and uh, I guess I guess we'll see what happens. It looks like we are making good progress here, about halfway to Molokai. I'm gonna go ahead and pull our throttle back a bit. We're just gonna kind of let the the plane fall out of the sky here, which is a little bit scary to say. Let's just go ahead and trim it trim it down a bit more. Definitely gonna want to want to keep an eye on our our airspeed though. We can get in dangerous territory, but dude, screw it. Let's 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 get a little let's get a little weird with it. This would be scary, that's for sure. Bring it down. Let's watch our airspeed. Oh, we're already getting in the red. Hold on, we want to level back out. Woo! 250 knots or less when flying below 10,000 feet. All right, let's not let's not get too crazy. Don't want to rip this thing apart and start seeing cheap metal flying off of it. Oh. It's raining outside, I really hope we don't lose power. So my power did end up going out, game crashed. We're starting back up here. We're gonna be taking off from Molokai. So we're gonna have two, two, you know, takeoffs here today, as well as, uh, as one landing. So we're getting, we're getting spoiled, I guess you could say. So let's, uh, let's see what this little island is all about. Hopefully we're gonna be able to get some cool views and stuff. We're gonna go ahead and put our landing gear up. We're gonna put our flaps up. Let's go ahead and take this off, whatever that is. And uh, I think, I'm pretty sure we're gonna to wanna to, want to turn around here. Let me go ahead and grab our map. Probably turning a little bit early. Probably would've wanted to get a bit more altitude and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna to wanna to, want to turn around. We're gonna head this way over over towards Maui. I just want to go get to like, you, you always see those pictures of the Hawaiian Islands when they're meeting the, the Pacific Ocean and just like all the jagged edges and super steep cliffs and stuff like that. That's, I want to go fly through that stuff. I want to feel like I'm flying through Jurassic Park. A lot of Jurassic Park was actually shot on one of the ranches back in, uh, in Oahu. K Kaluawa, K K Kaloa Ranch, something like that. I see it on Instagram all the time. Um, I'm not sure where it actually was on the island, but I just know it was back there. Looks like we do have some mountains coming up here, but nothing too crazy. This little little airport over here, that's pretty cool. Just gonna go ahead and casually buzz by it. Definitely a little local one. Oh, that's those are the, the mountains I was talking about. This is incredible. Are you kidding me right now? What did I do? Did I do something? What did I do? I was trying to set up for like a cool thumbnail or something of us just like chilling, flying in, in Hawaii and that, the, the things, hold up, we gotta, we gotta get her restarted. She's just whirring back up. Are we starting back up? Come on. Come on, old girl, we, we need you to start back up. I pressed something, what did I press? There must be like a, an ignition switch or something back here. Oh, she's starting back up. We're good. Oh, dude, that scared me so much. I thought we were done so. Is this real life? Is this, like, what? This is exactly what I had in mind when we came here to do this episode today. Look at that little beach down there. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm obsessed, bro. I just love looking out the windows watching these mountains go by. This is some of the most incredible terrain that I have ever seen. Look at behind us here, dude. This this is incredible. Just skirting the mountainsides here. We've got clouds in the sky. I love the clouds. It adds so much to it. Our first few flights we did on, on clear days. I, I, like, I like having clouds. 
just soaring. I'm gonna go around and buzz these mountaintops, dude. Oh, this is so incredible, man. <laughs> Look at this terrain. Just giant cliffs and valleys and mountains, and it's just all covered in trees and greenery. Oh, this is this is just incredible. It's getting a little bit bumpy, a little bit turbulent in here, to be expected, but we're gonna be fine. Just zipping through these canyons. Trying to look for an exit. Looks like we're gonna have to power up out of this thing. Wow, dude. I've said it so many times in this series so far, but this is one of the coolest things I've ever done. Like, I, I just, I, I love this game. This is, this is incredible. If you guys are, are considering getting this, I mean, I, I haven't played it on a controller. Obviously, this adds like an entirely new level of realism to it when you're actually in the cockpit and everything. But I would imagine it's still pretty dope with a controller. Got Brant Field over there. I'm just going to buzz down this mountain. Going to be careful about our speed, though. Um, yeah, it's just, it's so, it's so freeing. It's, it's so cool. I appreciate you guys, all, all the love you show on these videos and stuff. These are doing way better than I expected them to. I thought I was going to be alone and nerding out about this stuff, but clearly I was not. I'm going to go ahead and put our, our flaps down here. Just want to be able to slow us down a little bit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and head on over to Maui. Which I think should be, you know, somewhat equally as impressive. Let's take a look at the map here. I mean, Maui isn't going to be too far away. Looks like we've got an airport over here. There's an airport over there. That looks to be some sort of a major mountain. Uh, we've got a, a little bit going on in here, but once we get to this, that's going to be a big deal. And then, of course, we've got the big island here, which you guys can see there's a lot of different, uh, you know, heights and stuff here in the topography. So it's going to be fun. It's crazy to think that these islands out here in the middle of the Pacific with nothing else around you just randomly formed over the course of hundreds of millions of years, of course, probably even longer than that. But uh, yeah, dude, just underwater volcanoes just erupting, the lava building up, solidifying, that sort of thing. And over time, this is what you get. You get these absolutely gorgeous islands. One of the most beautiful places on Earth. Looks like we've got uh, Kapalua down here. It's a pretty cool looking little city. I actually think this might be where some of our friends are from. We've met quite a few people who live on both Maui and Oahu from uh, from like Royal Caribbean and our, our travels and stuff like that. We need to go visit them at some point. But dude, look look at all these resorts and stuff down here. Let's let's try to dive down and get a better look. We gotta be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and put our flaps down a bit. Just a touch. Try to be able to slow us down. Don't wanna get our airspeed up too high. Don't wanna overstress our, our fuselage here, but um, Yeah dude, this is this is just incredible. I can see the, the tennis courts. I can see the air conditioning systems up on the roofs. I can see, you know, all the little sand traps on the golf courses. I can see the mow lines on the golf courses. All the pools, you can see waves coming in. I mean, this this is just crazy. So in the last island, the crazy jagged cliffs were on the west side. I wonder if that's gonna be, or kind of more the north side, I guess. North, northwest. I wonder, uh, I wonder if it's going to be the same thing here. Seems to be lots of just empty, empty space out here. What is this, like farmlands? That's what I was saying, dude. Like, some of some of these islands are, are still super, super untouched. Just, I'm hoping we can find some waterfalls. That would be insane. I don't even know if my computer could handle a waterfall, bro. I might be, I might be asking for a bit too much. I'm really excited. I really do want to get get a new PC, be able to, if we could just run this at like 100 FPS or something ridiculous and be able to see the leaves on the trees. We are on ultra graphics. I think you probably can run ultra a bit better than this though. I'm, I'm sure there's kind of a higher up ultra, so just imagine it's only going to get better from here. Coming up over the crest here. Ooh, we've got another set of mountains over here. Let's go ahead and dive down in there gotta watch our airspeed but brother look at this 
This is insanity, bro. We really have to be careful about our airspeed. I think we're probably going to start getting into to dangerous territory. I'm going to skirt on over here. Ooh, we're getting a lot of turbulence. I'm going to skirt on over here. We're going to we're going to go over to the the north side of the island, try to get back on the coast. Kind of cut back and then we're, we'll make our way to the big island. Let me check where we're at here. So we're... We haven't even made it to the big part of Maui, dude. We're still in like this front little section of Maui. All right. So we, we got we to gotta cut right. We're going to go over to this this big guy over here. Sounds sounds good to me. Maui's bigger than I thought it was. Kind of looks like there's a lot of... Uh, just a lot of development and stuff out here. This is where most everybody's going to live. You've got the two mountains on each side of the island with the valley in between and... That's where all the people are going to end up settling. Makes sense. What is that over there? Kahului? It's going to be another airport. We can go buzz over in that direction. We actually had a uh, we had another cruise ship over here, so that's kind of cool to see. Got him down there in port. And then here's that Kahului airport that we saw. Definitely a small airport, but it looks like they've got, like, gates and, and fairly large airports. Air oh no, there's a big runway on our right. Okay, I didn't see the big runway at first. Yeah, they've, they've got some big boy airplanes in there. Gonna keep on going over this way. Looks like we've got a bit more farmland and then we're gonna make our way to the, the big boy mountain. We made it up here to the top. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's all right. It's not that exciting. I wouldn't say it was anything like super special to write, write home about. The second, second part of it, the big, big part of this this island, but uh, that's all right. We're going to go ahead and keep on pushing forward. We have, uh, we've got the big island in our sights, the biggest island on Hawaii, also one of the, the least densely populated. Let's go check it out. This is looking like a big flat boy, not a fat boy. Kind of, I mean, it does look pretty wide, I'm not going to lie, but he, he just looks flat, just expansive. If we take a look at our, our VR map here, VFR, sorry, VFR map. Looks like there's gonna be one smaller, tall portion here and then a bigger portion over here. So that's gonna be the, the first one and then that's the big one over there. Um, hmm. I don't know. We'll see how they look, we'll get closer. Upolu, airport's right down there. I almost feel like it'd be cool to try to land right there if you want me to, like, right along the edge of the sea. Let me, let me see. Let me see where these other ones are. Looks like there's one PHTO, but it looks like it has a no sign. So it's looks like, it looks like it's saying that we couldn't land there if we wanted to. There's PMHU up there. That one has a no sign too. So I mean, screw it. We can we can land wherever we want to land. It's our airplane. I don't think that's how it works in in, in the real world, but here in MS Flight Sim, that's how we can do it. So. Man, that is, that's just a cool airport right there. You can see the other island off in the distance and stuff. That would have been a cool a cool spot. But I kind of want to explore the islands. I want to say that we made it at least over a majority of it. Looks like there's a lot of land out here. A lot of farmlands. A lot of people living off the lands. Living off their plants and animals and stuff. Dude, could you imagine having a farm and looking out over the ocean every day? having fantastic weather, not really having to worry about too much. They did just have a hurricane nearly hit them, which does not happen often. But, um, man, that would be cool. I want to be honest, though. I, I thought there were going to be more of the, like, crazy jagged cliffs and stuff like that. I mean, I guess we learned something new every day. Without this game, we wouldn't have known that. I always envisioned that a lot of Hawaii was like that. I knew Oahu wasn't. That's because I've been there. I thought a lot of the other outlying islands were, but I guess I guess not, dude. I guess they're a little a little more timid than we thought. Still incredibly beautiful. I mean it's it's hard to beat this. Man, this this island is so big, dude. Look at the side we've been flying over this thing for so long. We started all the way back there, and we're only to here. I didn't realize how massive this was. We do have the Waimea Kahala Airport in front of us. I'm gonna assume that's this one. Maybe? It's gotta be. 
but yeah, dude, I mean, this is just massive. It's definitely a bit dangerous flying around in the clouds up here like this. Knowing there's a giant mountain in front of you, but we're we're climbing the the first mountain here. You guys can see over on the left. Um, it's uh, I mean, it's brown. It's not that beautiful. I don't know if this is a volcano or what this is. I'm really hoping we have enough. Oh, we're getting frost on the windows and stuff. This this might be a little bit sketchy, Trev. We're really getting up there. We're at uh, 11,000, almost 12,000 feet. Let's make sure we keep that airspeed up. It's falling a bit. But yeah, we made it to the top. I was looking. I, I don't. I mean, I don't think it's going to get a lot different than this. Obviously, there are a lot of tiny little pockets, and we only touched on a couple of the islands here. So, I think at some point we will probably come back. I feel like we've kind of conquered quite a bit for this video, though. So I don't. I don't want to end up making this thing too long. If there's anything out here in Hawaii that you guys have been or you live there or something like that and you want to see it, let me know. But um, I'm thinking I'm thinking we might roll out of here. Might, might go try to hit that PHTO airport. Is there a defroster option? The problem is, is it's going to be hidden away somewhere inside the electronics here, which is going to make it a bit, a bit tougher for us. There's got to be... Some, I mean, it would be next to the climate controls or it'd be somewhere in the menus. Should we try the menus? Map range, you can, PFD settings, nav, sensors, radar controls. You have to use the, the buttons, I think. Does that work? Those are our flaps, fuel tank selector, display backup. And we got to make sure we're, we're paying attention to where we're going here. We want to come in parallel with the uh, with the coastline, essentially. It's about five miles out. I don't know if that that no sign means that we can't land here, but I'm just I'm I'm gonna go for it, dude. Whatever, YOLO. So she's gonna be off uh, off over on our left over here. Oh yeah, we're we're golden. This is gonna be great. We're starting to defrost a little bit anyway. I bet there are defrosters we could have used, but. It's, uh, it's all right. So I'm going to start rolling out here. We're going to start bringing down the speed a bit. Our airspeed is pretty high. I'm going to go ahead and drop the, the flaps. We're going to put the landing gear down. We're still going 200 knots. So that's, I mean, that's pretty aggressive, but we've got a very, very good heading here. I feel like we're kind of a little, a little high. So we're going to let her drop. I'm pretty sure you want to use the elevator for speed and the, the throttle for for something else, for elevation maybe? When you're coming in, basically it's it's like opposite of what you would expect. It's opposite of what they normally do. How's our speed looking? I'm gonna put flaps and everything all the way down here. Bring us down to a coast. All right, about 100 knots here. Go ahead and straighten her up with the rudder. We are right down the middle. Oh, a little bit too far left. I mean, a little bit bouncy, but I don't think it was too bad. 20 knots taxi speed limit has been exceeded. I, I, I mean, feel like we kind of had a bit of a, a bit of a shock, but that's, dude, that's what our, uh, that's what our suspension's for. It's, it's there to, there to take that on. So, we're gonna go ahead and taxi to the garage here. We, uh, we did a pretty good job today. We, we saw a lot of Hawaii, which was really awesome. I'm serious. I, I definitely want to come back here and check out more. So, if you guys have suggestions, be sure to let me know. If you want to see anywhere in the world, be sure to let me know in the comments as well. Um, but uh, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Absolutely incredible views. And uh, something I definitely will not forget. So I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, could I not go straight across? I'm just going to go straight across. I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to listen to the, the markings. Whatever. If I cut you off, I cut you off. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.